USP Hazelton Prison made national headlines when the infamous Whitey Bulger was killed by another inmate. Bulger being one of three homicides in 2018 alone. The limited staffing has played a big role in two attacks, just days into the new year. Popping off 2018 Bulger killing investigation, are the USP Hazelton slaying probes top northern West Virginia Fed caseload. There are still multiple, high-profile investigations pending in the Northern District of West Virginia. Four stem from homicides at USP Hazelton, the prison visible from Interstate 68 near Briston Mills where some of America's most dangerous offenders are incarcerated. It kept going. And there a federal inmate is facing voluntary manslaughter and assault charges in the death of another inmate, at USP Hazelton and Briest, Mills, acting United States Attorney Randolph Bernard announced. Joanald Rice, 34, was indicted on one count of voluntary manslaughter and one count of assault resulting in serious bodily injury. Rice is accused of assaulting another inmate, identified simply as DG, by striking him in the head multiple times, killing him. The crime occurred at USP Hazelton in October 2017. April 27, the staff, at FCI Hazelton in Preston County found an unresponsive inmate at approximately 8.30 p.m., according to a press release sent out by the Federal Bureau of Prisons. The man had been given a 120-month sentence for possession of a firearm by a prohibited person and was an inmate of FCI Hazelton. Three Hazelton inmates faced drug, weapons charges May 6, 2022. Three inmates at USP Hazelton have been indicted for assault, weapons possession and drug violations. Inmate Dwight Foster, 48, has been charged with assault on a correctional officer in connection with an attack in September of 2021. Foster has also been indicted for possession of a prohibited object, a weapon nice shive inmate Jason Dent, 44, has been charged with assault of a correctional officer resulting in bodily injury. Dent is accused of assaulting a Bureau of Prisons Special Investigative Services Lieutenant causing bodily injury in April 2021. Inmate Sean Ford, 23, has been indicted for one count of attempting to obtain a prohibited narcotic. Ford is accused of trying to obtain Suboxone without the knowledge of prison officials in April 2021. Inmate allegedly assaulted four workers and administration called for a lockdown. On Saturday, during this lockdown, another inmate allegedly kicked an officer and punched a staff member. In an unprecedented move, the Federal Bureau of Prisons Bob, has locked down all of its 122 facilities across the United States as a result of a fight at the high-security prisons, USP Beaumont, Texas, where multiple men were injured and two killed. Bob employees received a notice stating, Effective January 31, 2022, the Federal Bureau of Prisons was placed on a national lockdown. The lockdown was initiated out of abundance of caution due to current events which occurred at another facility. U.S. Attorney for West Virginia's Northern District, Bill Powell has charged a correctional officer at FCI Hazelton, in Preston County, with sexual abuse of a ward. Powell filed in information against Scott Bourne on December 30, 2020. The filing alleges that Bourne, an officer at the secure female facility at Hazelton, had a female inmate perform oral sex on him between September 2018 and January 2019. He was getting head it was so good he forgot he was a cop cop's love head to an initial appearance. Arraignment and plea hearing for Bourne has been set for January 21, 2021. The inmate at USP Hazelton is dead following a fight with an inmate Monday. Ian Thorne, a 48-year-old inmate at the facility, was pronounced dead at 6.08 p.m. Monday, the Federal Bureau of Prisons confirmed Tuesday. Thorne was serving a 20-year sentence for conspiracy to commit murder. He arrived at Hazelton January 16. The other inmate involved in the fight, still unidentified, was treated for minor injuries. It is unclear if any charges are pending. Two former United States Penitentiary, USP, Hazelton inmates have pleaded guilty and have been sentenced in the 2012 death of another inmate. 
Laurel and Dowell, repeatedly stabbed and cut Dallas, killing him on August 29, 2012 at USP Hayes Open in Preston County. Dallas suffered nearly 50 stab wounds to the heart 50 crazy, lungs and liver, according to United States Attorney William Eichenfeld. Another inmate also suffered injuries during the attack, but survived, an inmate was attacked Thursday with the padlock, the same weapon used to kill Boston mob boss James Whitey Bulger, at the same West Virginia prison complex, unidentified inmate was assaulted inside the federal correctional institution Hazelton, a medium security penitentiary, about 7.50 a.m., authorities said. Victim assaulted Thursday was struck with a lock attached to a rope or cord, I'll damn those are missiles one of the prison staffers said. His injuries are not considered life-threatening, the prison staffers said. They would have went to hospital. He got mopped up pretty bad but not to the point where there was any question of he would live, one of the staffers said. He just got fucked up. Crazy.